Mace turned once again to his own task. He gestured, and the mass of struggling beasts and men parted before him, and the smoke and dust cleared, and he saw her. She sat on a ledge like a natural gallery that coursed one long curving wall of the cavern. Her feet hung over the lip, dangling free, a child in a chair too tall for her. Deepa! She lifted her head and turned to meet his eyes, and knowing what to say would not have helped him because he could not speak. The rag, the one she had worn across her brow these past days, was gone. On her forehead, where the Chilactan greater mark of illumination should have been, as it had been in his hallucination days ago at the Jungle Prospector outpost, on her brow was only an ugly keloid ripple of scar, as though the greater mark of illumination had been carved from the bone of her skull with a blunt knife. The lesser mark, called the Seeker, still gleamed at the bridge of her nose. Mace. Her face twisted once more to tears. I'm so sorry. Her head twitched as though she shook tears out of her eyes. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry things can't be different. Better. I'm sorry I can't be better. But you can. He squeezed her shoulder. You can, Deepa. You have to. I'm so lost, Mace. He pulled his hand from her shoulder and rose, looming above her. Get up. Reflexes burned into her by more than a decade of unquestioning obedience yanked her instinctively to her feet. She swayed dizzily, and her mouth hung slack. Minutes from now, nearly a thousand clone soldiers of the Republic will reach this position. New light kindled in her glazed eyes. The Holic. They can save us. No, May said. Listen to me. We have to save them. Whatever chance those men will have, we have to give them. You have to give them. Me? What can I do? He opened his vest. Her lightsaber floated out of its inner pocket. It bobbed gently in the air between them. You can make a choice. She looked from the lightsaber to his eyes and back again. She stared at the hand grip as though her reflection in its Portek amber-smeared surface might whisper the future. He said, Take your weapon, Deepa. Let's go save those men. She took it. <laughs>